In the last video podcast, I told you that I ordered a Google Fold and a Motorola Razer flip phone. Why did I order both? Well, the Pixel Fold doesn't get here. When I ordered it, it said it wasn't going to get here until the first week of August. Now that's changed, and now it is like um, the middle of July. I haven't checked it today, so maybe it's even sooner now. I didn't want to wait that long because um, impulse control, so I also ordered a Motorola Razr flip phone. I was really kind of more curious about the Motorola flip phone because I've never tried that format of a folding phone before. I've had the Samsung Fold, but I've not had one of their flip phones. So the Motorola Razr came last Tuesday, I believe. And I got a chance to play with it for a few days. Here it is. And I have thoughts. Now, if you recall, I said that I wanted to take a break from the iPhone for just a while or longer, I don't know, to see if I could make Android be my new daily driver. I've been using an iPhone for the last three years and I think it's time for a change just because, you know, I get bored like we all do with devices and we want to try something new. That's why I ordered the Google Fold, the Pixel Fold. And then I ordered the Motorola Razr flip phone. Well, like I said at the start, I've had the Motorola Razr flip phone for a few days now and I did completely switch over took the SIM out of the iPhone, put it in here, turned off the iPhone, and I I have mixed feelings about this. I like the phone because it's small and compact. I mean, this is cool, right? Um, I also like it because when it opens, it is, let me open it here, unlock it. It's pretty tall and skinny. It is a little bit taller, just slightly taller than an iPhone, if you can see right here, just slightly. Um, and I found myself always opening this. Although this has a nice large display on the, let me unlock this. So, come on. A nice large display on the front, and you can run quite a few different programs. Uh, you could bring up your Google Mail. Uh, you could uh, have a full-size calculator there. I mean, you can do all kinds of things on this outside screen, but I found that I was always preferring to have it open to see the full-size screen. It just felt more natural to me. And I like the full-size, full-effect screen. Now, I can see how this would be good for people that don't want to get immersed in their phone. S you know, start scrolling through their emails and TikTok and Instagram and everything else because it's not as easy or comfortable to do it on this outside uh, display. I can understand that. But that's not me. So, um, it's almost like if I'm going to use this open all the time, then what's the point of having a flip? But on the good side, I have noticed some good things. One is that the, let me try to close this again. It has the fingerprint sensor on the side, on the power button, and it actually works for me, which is very unusual because I have a lot of problems, a lot, lot, lot of problems with fingerprint sensors. Not so with the Motorola Flip. It works every single time. It works quick. It works fast. It unlocks. So thumbs up for that, okay? Thumbs up for the display. It looks pretty nice. Thumbs up for the cameras. They're not fantastic. They're not going to compare to my iPhone, even my iPhone 13 Pro Max. But, you know, I'm not 
Peter McKinnon. I am just Julie Streetlemeyer, the gadgeteer who takes product shots with my phone. And this works fine for that, right? I'm not like trying to be an artist or anything. I'm just taking snapshots. I'm not zooming in like crazy to see if it's how many pixels are in, you know, pixel density, all that. I'm just taking pics that, you know, I can flip through, enjoy, remember memories, take product shots, and this works perfectly fine for that. But, and there's a big but. <laughs> ha, big butts. I like big butts and I cannot lie. Um, there is a lot, there's two problems. One, the cameras are good, but my favorite app that I use all the time, sometimes hours a day, is Marco Polo. It's kind of like FaceTime only, it only like the FaceTime that's coming soon with Apple where you can record a message and watch it later. Well, Marco Polo did that first. And what's great about it is that it's like a walkie-talkie. I can record a video and send it and my sister sees it. And then when she gets a chance, she responds. And then when I see it, I can respond. You can watch it while they're doing it live, while they're recording live. But you answer after they stop. And we use that all the time just to talk back and forth with each other. My sister, my niece, Jeannie, my better half, we all use it and we love it. But the video quality on the Motorola Razr versus the video quality in the iPhone for the Micro Polo app, there is no comparison. Marco Polo on the Razr is terrible. It looks terrible. The video quality makes people look washed out, but I also noticed right away when I first started using it that there's static in the background of videos. And I first attributed it just to using the Marco Polo app, but then I found that all audio in videos on the Razer have static in the background. Let me show you what I mean. Here's an example. Okay, I'm recording this with the Motorola Flip. And as you can tell by the fact that my logo is backwards, I'm using the front facing camera. My hands are nowhere near the microphones, so that's not the issue. But I am sure that there is static in the background because I've done quite a bit of testing. I think that this is just a defect with this particular phone because uh, I talked with one of my other writers, Greg Cleveland, who writes for the Gadgeteer. He just got a Motorola Razr Flip too, and his does not have the static in the background. Okay, now I'm going to flip to the back facing camera so that you can see the video quality there too. Uh, maybe you can see it in the camera there. I can't tell if you can see it or not. But the cool thing is that when I turn uh, the camera around and I'm recording it using the back facing camera, you know, the main camera, I can see myself because there is a huge viewfinder with the the cover, the phone cover. So that is fantastic. I really like that. But again, you're probably hearing static. So that is a big bummer. But that wasn't the deal killer because I already realized that this form factor, although I like it a lot for the pocketability, for use for me, it's really a waste because I just kept opening it and using it open. So what's the point, right? The only point is that it fits in my pocket better, but that's never been a giant problem for me. So this is going back. I only have uh, two weeks with it, so it has to go back uh, in a week, but I'll probably be sending it back this week. And I'm waiting for the Pixel Fold. So we'll see what happens with the Fold. I have noticed that 
when I was using this, I was really jonesing for the Find My feature where I could check in to see where Jeannie was, where my sister was. Um, when I was going to meet them, it was easy to see them, you know, arriving at my destination. Uh, and I miss that a lot. I know that there is a way to do it with Google Maps. And I started playing with that option last night. I got on Jeannie's iPhone and I set it to share the location, but and it worked, but I must not have set it to share always because now today while she's at work, I wanted to check in on her as she was driving to work like I sometimes do on my iPhone just to make sure she gets to work okay. And it said she's no longer sharing her location. And she doesn't know how to turn that off. So it either timed out or something else is going on. So I'm going to be sure and test that more with the Google Fold because that is another feature that I want and am not willing to give up. And, sorry, a Marco Polo from my sister just came in. And that is just um, proof of how much I use this. When she's home from work, we sit there and talk all day long. So the Marco Polo experience for me is very important. And some people might think, you know, you're just basing all your your wants and needs on one main app. And... Well, if it's an app that I use all the time, or a feature that I use all the time, yeah. Why not? Because, you know, that's what I do. That's what I use. So we'll see what happens with the Pixel Fold. Um, I'm going to assume that Marco Polo will be a lot better. Now the Find My feature, trying to get around that, that, that remains to be seen. That is not as big a deal breaker as the Marco Polo app. But I just wanted to give everybody a quick um, update on where I'm at with this Android uh, experiment. And I'll be back again with my thoughts on the Pixel Fold as soon as I get one. I hope everybody has a wonderful holiday tomorrow, 4th of July, and a great rest of your day today. See you later.